Hello everyone, and welcome to Deserted. This is the story of Dune Lord, an ultimate Iron Man restricted to the Caridian Desert and looking to take advantage of everything that has to offer. With the announcement of the Tombs of Amasket, I realized that this account was destined for something, to be able to defeat the enemies that lie within this new raid, all without trading, banking, or leaving the desert. Let's get into it. last episode, we completed the longest grind that we've ever done on the account, which was AFKing bandits for almost 400 hours in order to get to 99 hit points for our new best in slot cape. We've obtained almost all of our best in slot gear so far, but there's only two items left that we need before I can officially say that we're ready to enter the tombs of a mascot, and those are the Tome of Water and the Black Dragonhide Chaps. Luckily, in order to get both of these items, it requires one singular grind, and that is a lot of Temperos. Obviously we get the Tome of Water as a reward from doing Temperos, but the Black Dehyde Chaps we have to make ourselves. Thankfully Temperos gives a lot of crafting XP from its loot table, and hopefully we get enough to bring us from 79 to 82 crafting to be able to make them. Plus we'll be getting soaked pages for the Tome and raw fish for the Tombs of a Masket, so this grind really benefits us in a lot of different ways. So as far as the Temperos grind goes, I think the best stopping point is going to be going all the way to 99 fishing. I mean, why not right? What's a quick little 99 grind to somebody like Dune Lord? I'm going to be stacking every single Temperos permit that I get all the way to 99 fishing and looting it all at once, so hopefully we get our Tome of Water back, enough soaked pages to fill it up, enough crafting XP for level 82, and maybe even the pet. Let's get started. Oh god, what's happening? You need to leave. Hey, what about my world? Your wor- what? That's like some kid's game, right? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. Well, what else can you really ask for? Let's check it out. Yeah, tell them more about it. In Hero Wars, everyone can find a character to suit themselves. There's cyborgs, aliens, vampires, they got whatever you're into. Let's take a look at some of the heroes they have to offer. There's Chaba, he's an awesome tank who literally devours his enemies. There's Celeste, who's the real S tier. She can switch between a DPS dark form and a healer light form, which makes her useful in any situation. And check out this sweet new outfit that just dropped for her. There's no equal to Hero Wars. You can play it on the subway, at lectures, or even while playing something else. It's super easy to start playing, but assembling a perfect team of heroes is an art in and of itself. For example, Mojo the Shaman can't heal Darkstar the Elf as efficiently as the good Grandma Martha can, while the slow Cleaver makes a great pair with the swift Isaac. Hero Wars is a world of 6 unique modes, more than 300 Guild Wars servers, and 100 million players. You can play alone or see who among you and your friends is the best. Now you're probably asking yourself, where can I get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and 5 awesome heroes to start dominating right away? Well I got you, the answer is the link in the description below. Play Hero Wars today. The first thing I need to do is clear my inventory just a little bit more. We have these two things I want to get rid of. Um, the Lava Runes and the Raw Bass, and also the Pharaoh Scepter I want to get rid of, but um, I haven't decided if I'm going to yet. I don't think I need this for anything, because the reason I got this was for the Locust Rider grind. I needed to teleport to Sophonum quite a bit, and that's kind of the only thing this is really useful for. I'm sure by the time I start doing Tombs of a Mascot on this account, I'm going to want that inventory space over a convenient teleport to the raid. Like, I'd rather just walk there and have a free inventory space, but I'll figure that out later. For now, um, I am going to just drop this stack of Lava Runes. I was considering, like, using it, like, I don't know, buying Nature Runes and using doing a bunch of alks or maybe doing some more crafting at like the silver mine and use the superheat item spell but if i need fire runes eventually i'll just buy fire runes and uh i need the inventory spaces for temporos so i'm just gonna drop these on the floor oh my god those are worth a little more than i thought um 100k you know what call me cheap but i'm just gonna drop them over to my main i don't even think i have that many on my main so i'm just gonna drop them over to him but the first thing we're going to be taking care of is the bass. Um, we're just going to cook through all these before we start Temperos. This should definitely get us up to 90 cooking. So I'm excited to see that level. We're going to be starting off at 90 cooking in this video. And you know exactly where I'm going. The same place I do all my cooking at. And there we go. I got all the lava runes dropped over to my main account. So now the only inventory space we have left to clear is this stack of raw bass. And we're just going to be doing this standard, like I said. 
anointing them here and then cooking them over here. So let's get some XP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch the left click to drop so that I can, well, terrible clicks, but there we go, drop them really easily. And here we go, guys. This is gonna be the first and only level from cooking these bass. One more, and there it is, 90 cooking. You love to see the 90s, honestly. The 90s look super clean. I can now cook, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on going. Bit of a random clip here because I know we haven't finished a stack of bass yet, but I caught an earth impling just like, you know, on my travels. We got a fire talisman, so I made a tiara. We're gonna use it on here and get level 16 runecraft. Yeah, 16, you guys didn't see me get 15 because I didn't record that, but um, <laughs> we got two runecrafting levels since the last episode already, so that's pretty cool. Okay, back to bass. We're gonna finish this up today. And here we go, the very last bass, right there. We're all done with the big old stack. Like I said, we got to level 90, we did not get to 91, which is fine. We're like almost halfway done with level 90, but we're gonna get the rest of that way to 99 during this grind. So I guess we're gonna get started on some Temporas now. Actually, before we get into Temporas, I just wanna show my AFK grind I'll be doing. Temporas is like relatively AFK, but if I need to like really AFK, then I'm just gonna post it up here. It's right outside of the Temporas area and you can harpoon these spots for tunas and swordfish. And I already got a beginner clue bottle, which gave me a <laughs> clue step that's in Alcarid. So I guess we're gonna go try that out. All right, can we get the one step casket? Oh man, back to back? No, it's a drop. But either way, that's still good signs of what's to come. If we do this AFK grind right here with the swordfish and stuff, we'll probably end up getting a couple of these Alcarid steps, maybe, I guess. and. Maybe we'll get like one cask at this video. Let's try and see if we can do that. And we're about to get our first fishing level right here. There's 87. First fishing level of the video. We were like super close to this one, like going into it. So uh, so I don't even really want to count it. Like for all intents and purposes, like we're starting from level 87 because we were like, we only had a sliver of XP away from 87 in the beginning. So this is our starting point. We're starting this video off at 87 fishing. This is kind of wild. I just got another beginner clue scroll from fishing here, and it's the exact same Alcarid step in the skirt shop. Maybe this one will be the one step casket. Let's go find out. All right, Renail, give me a casket. Pretty please. Oh God. Oh, it's a double step though, or a back to back step. For sure Shanty's got a casket for me. Oh my God, bro. Well, that is horribly depressing. I'm horribly depressed. Okay, so I think I'm all done AFKing for now, and we're gonna get started on some Temporas in the Temporas video, can you believe it? The first thing that I wanna do is figure out whether I'm gonna be doing solos or mass worlds to 99. I wanna find something that's like a nice balance of good XP, because I don't wanna be here forever, but I also wanna get like decent points. So I'm gonna do an hour or two of like mass worlds, and then I'll do an hour or two of solos, and I'll just kinda compare like the XP per hour and the permits per hour and decide what I wanna do. Uh, first, I think I'm gonna start with the mass world. So we're gonna hop to 422, which is where I do all my Temporas. All right, it's been a while since I've done Temporas, but um, I'm sure we can figure it out. All right, first thing I gotta do, grab all the equipment I need. We got the rope, we got the hammer. We already have the harpoon from harpoon fishing. I think we're just gonna take one bucket and that should probably be enough. Also, I just realized the hit points cape might be a spoiler for some people if they uh, if they watch the videos and see me at Temporos because at the time of me recording this, the 99 hit points video hasn't come out yet. It, it'll come out tomorrow. So sorry for anyone who I spoil it for, but I don't feel like changing my whole outfit just for that. I also just like haven't done Mass Worlds in a super long time. So I gotta like learn how to do Mass Worlds because all the Temporos I've done in the past like year have been solos pretty much. Oh, there's the green fish. That means we get a chance to get double fish from this green spot with the leaping fish. See, double fish. So that's gonna be very nice. Anyway, I'll see you back when I'm done with the uh, the mass worlds. I just realized I should also probably show this before uh, we finish our first game. We're at 500 Temporos kills. Most of those are solos and we're at 2,906 total reward permits claimed. So that's where we're starting out. Everything else after that is gotten in this video. Okay, so this game right here is the very end of my first hour of doing the mass worlds. So I guess I'm gonna hop to a different world and try out an hour of solos and then I'll compare the stats. So as you guys may know, one of the benefits for doing Temporos on my account is uh, the rewards give you a ton of construction supplies, but I also forgot that you can repair the masts and get construction XP from repairing these. And uh, this is the first construction level of the grind. There's level 62. 
Hopefully we'll see a couple more of those levels throughout the course of this video. And that is the end of the fourth game, which is pretty much the end of the hour. We can get technically like four and a half games per hour, but I'm not going to count that. We're just going to say four games per hour, lowball it to be safe. Yeah, now that I have one hour from each method, I guess we'll get into the numbers. So we did an hour of Mass Worlds and an hour of Solos. I'm just going to put the numbers on screen because they ended up being so similar to each other that it really just came down to which method would I prefer doing all the way to 99 fishing. I decided that I'm going to be doing Mass Worlds over Solos, and this is for a few reasons. First of all, totem poles break down a lot more often in Mass Worlds over Solos, so there will be more construction XP. Also, the games are about half as long, so it'll boost my rank on the high scores quite a bit, which is just kind of cool. And lastly, Mass Worlds just feel better to grind one game after the other, since there's a lot less thinking required. Overall, they seem like the best choice, so Mass Worlds is what I've decided to do all the way to 99. Would you look at what we have here? It's the first Lucky Impling of the video. Oh god, and it's green dehyde chaps. Something that we can just buy in the Narda store, but whatever. And here we go, the first fishing level since starting Temporos isn't even at Temporos. We're just doing our little AFK grind over here, and we just got 88 fishing. And this is going to be the end of a game, a pretty important one, I'm going to say. 600 kill count. And if you recall, we started off at 500 kill count in this video. So that is 100 Temporos kills that we've gotten so far in the video. And there's level 89 fishing at Temporos. I'm going to repair this mast right here, and that is going to bring me up to 63 construction. Looks like we do unlock some teak stuff there, but... Uh, we pretty much have everything built in our house right now that we can without getting teak planks, which the only way to get teak planks is from a lucky impling, by the way. So I'm really hoping to get teak planks because there's going to be so much stuff that we can build if we get even one teak plank drop. Yo, we just got something awesome. We got the uh, big swordfish from just sitting here AFKing the harpooning spot. Yeah, I think there's a 1 in 2500 chance every time I harpoon from here to get a big swordfish. So that's pretty cool. That's another collection log slot. We're up to 65 now. I guess I'll show it in the log. There it is, beautiful. But there's really nothing I can do with this because what this is pretty much is you can get it stuffed in Mauritania and then you can mount it in your house. So it's really cool to have the collection log slot, but it is unfortunately a drop. Still really cool though. And here's another shot at a one step beginner clue from harpoon fishing. Let's see a casket. Oh my god, it's too good to be true. Let's just open this up and get something real nice from it. It is first thing in the morning right now, and we're uh, starting off with 91 fishing. That's a pretty nice way to start the day, I think. Nice little motivation boost. Also, I swear I'm doing Temporos, but for whatever reason, a lot of the uh, things that are coming up that are clip-worthy recording, like levels and that big swordfish from earlier, you know, it just so happens to be here. So I'm, do I'm still doing Temporos. This is, I guess, where I'm getting the levels for whatever reason. And after this game is over, we just got a cheeky little milestone, if you noticed it. We're over a thousand total permits now stacked up. Yeah, we're not even level 92 yet. We're not even halfway to 99 and we already have a thousand permits stacked up. So there's going to be quite a few by the time we're done. I'm guessing around like uh, five to 6,000 permits, probably closer to five. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a huge opening. It's literally going to take hours to go through all the permits once I start fishing through the rewards. All right, I'm about to get a construction level from this. 64, beautiful. Now, this may look like a pretty useless level, but it's actually like a really important one. So let me explain to you why. At 64 construction, I can boost to level 66 with the T's I can make in my house to build everything I need that requires teak planks. If I get a teak plank drop from a lucky impling, I can build myself a crystal ball, a mounted amulet of glory, and a teak altar, pet house, armor case, cape rack, fancy dress box, and a treasure chest. So this is technically the highest construction level I need on the account because getting to level 82 to boost and make the mahogany versions of all these is honestly pretty unrealistic. That being said, since the account is nearing its end and I still have a ton of money to spend on Lucky Impling Scouts, I've decided to increase the bounty price. So if you want to scout me a Lucky Impling, I'm now paying 10 million coins for each Impling that I catch and even more if the item is useful to me. So if anyone feels like scouting, hopefully that's a decent incentive for you. And there you have it, the big 800 Temporos kill count. Just checking in with like the KC milestones, you know. Currently up to over 1300 permits as well. I just know, I just know that we got the pet hiding somewhere in these permits. Somewhere in that pool right there, just waiting for us. 92 fishing. 
on the Deserlocked account, you know, halfway to 99 has been accomplished, achieved, whatever word you want to use for it. There is Big Swordfish number two on the account. <laughs> Uh, I guess I saw that one coming. I'm still AFKing here every once in a while, and uh, yeah, still hoping to get the Heron pet is pretty much the main reason I'm here besides passive fishing XP, but I guess now we're just gonna see how many big swordfishes we can get. Why, hello, Mr. Genie. Thank you very much for that XP lamp. I've been putting these into crafting, actually. Um, I guess I could put these into like herb lore or prayer or something, but I've been putting them into crafting because this skill is super slow to train. And I don't think we're going to get all the way up to 84 to be able to make the Black Dragonhide body just off of the Temporos rewards alone. We're going to get all the way up to 84, and I'm estimating that by the time we're done with Temporos, we'll get close to like, probably like 82 to 83. So all the crafting XP that I can get, I will take because I'm probably going to have to realistically mine some silver ore and make tiaras again to get all the way up to 84. So yeah, that's where the lamps are going nowadays. Ninety-three fishing. Don't really have much to say about these levels, but um, we're at just under 900 KC at Temporos right now, and about 1,700 permits in. There it is, 900 Temporos KC. All right, I'm really hoping for a five permit game here. No, it was one off. I'm gonna count it though. I'm gonna say that this is close enough. We're at 1,999 permits, which might as well be 2,000. And uh, that's the update. <laughs> We're at 2,000 permits, which if you recall from an earlier Temporos video I did, I mean, look at the title. I'll put it up on screen. This was the goal of the last big Temporos grind we did, and uh, we just matched it pretty much. So we're, we've made a lot of progress so far, but we're still only level 93, almost 94. We'll get 94 today on the fishing, but yeah, we still got a long way to go. Hey, yo, what the cow fight queen doing? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this was a seven permit game. I got, uh, where is it? 5,815 points in a mass world. Granted, it took about a minute longer than a normal game does, but still. And here we go. Level 65 totem pole repairing. There's 94 fishing. Do we get anything cool from this level? I suppose not. Big moment, everybody. Big moment right here. Let me just fish one more time. And there it is. Your Temporos kill count is one thousand we have doubled our kc in this video obviously because the mass world games aren't as long as the solo games like the first 500 most of those were solos so they were like three times as long but you know what it doesn't matter because as far as the old school runescape high scores goes we have a thousand temporos kill count we are currently rank 47 for uh, Ultimate Iron Man Temporos with 1,000 KC. And you know what? Ultimate Jab and you Iron Messiah, I hate to break it to you, but I'm one game away and I'm coming for your, I'm coming for your place. I'm going to get bumped up to 45 pretty soon. Good morning, everybody. I'm doing a farm run on my main account, so I'm over here AFKing some harpoon fishing. And normally what I do is I just kind of fish and drop them on the floor like that. But this morning I've been running over to the fire to cook all of them. And that is because we're super close to a level, a cooking level. I guess you could probably tell by the context of this clip. And this is a monumental level, and I'll show you why in a second. Here it is, level 91 cooking. Not only is this 91 cooking, which is huge, this is the level that we can cook manta rays at, which is the highest level food and the highest healing food that we can get in the desert. Um, we get this from Temporos, and now we can finally cook these. I've just been dropping like the stack of raw manta rays over to my main every single time I've done Temporos, but now we can cook them, maybe eat them in the theater of a uh, theater of blood, uh, tombs of a masket. Save those for the tombs of a masket, get some high healing food, that'll be pretty nice. And not only is that level 91 cooking, but it's also 1700 total level on the desert locked ultimate iron man you guys see that oh my god it's beautiful come on what in god's name was that it was 193 coins it is once again time for another fishing level there's level 95 fishing once again Nothing that we get from that level, but another one down, only uh, four more to go. All right, good morning, everybody. This is the start of a brand new day, a day full of Temporos, hopefully. And I guess the update for this is that um, I'm starting to get a little burnt out. <laughs> That's the uh, first time I've really been able to say that on this account, but I'm just, it's not like I'm feeling super drained, but I'm just like, I'm noticing that I'm playing less and less 
every single day than I probably normally would. <laughs> And I think that um, that just means that I'm burnt out. I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop, though. I'm going to push through because we're going to be hitting 96 fishing today, which is pretty cool. So we're only like three and a half levels away from getting there. So I, I think we can push through. But yeah, I don't know. Something about like just grinding skills through mini games. I've never really been a fan of like, I guess it's OK for like Winter Todd because I'm not going <laughs> to train like, you know, I'm not going to burn logs for 99 fire making, but like Temperos, Guardians of the Rift, I guess Giant's Foundry now, like, I don't know. Minigame Scape is not for me personally, but the rewards from this are going to be so nice that it's all going to be worth it in the end, and I will thank myself by the time we're done, but I guess that's the update. Feeling a little burnt, but we're going to push through. And here it is, everybody, the level we've all been waiting for. 96 fishing, three more to go. Just finished another game of Temperos, and that is 1,200 KC. Oh, I'm sorry, Seagull, I didn't mean to click you. And two games later, we got five permits and that brought us up to a nice even 3,000 permits. First time ever having that much on the account. Another morning of AFKing Swordfish and another big one right there. That's our third one total, I believe. This is it guys, this is the end of a very important game. It's not a level, but it's a pretty huge milestone so let's check this out so that game was 1310 temperos casey and if i uh, drag the high scores over and you can probably tell where i'm going with this just gotta log out to reset the high scores real quick if you look down here at the very bottom of front page mr uim by the way is rank 25 ultimate iron man temperos with 1309 i hate to do it to you my dude but i'm gonna refresh the page and look at that we have taken front page ultimate iron man temperos hold your applause thank you thank you i appreciate it yeah we're now front page and i'm not even level 97 yet i'm gonna get that in about two hours so we still have a long way to go i think we might end up like in the 1500 kcs is my guess but i don't really know so we're probably going to be like in the top 20 by the end of this but there's front page that's pretty cool to see we've reached another massive milestone on the account i just gotta harpoon this thing right here and Hopefully I get a swordfish. There we go, 100 million total XP on the Desert Locked Ultimate Iron Man. Looking back, I probably should have found a way to get like the exact 100 million number, but we got the extra nine there, it's fine. We are at the end of another game. That is 1400 Temperos KC and the crowd goes absolutely wild. 4,000 total permits. That is so many rewards. That's twice as many as the last big Temperos video I did. All right, guys, and at long last, I can finally say there were 98 fishing. One more to go, one more level to go until max level fishing on the account. I don't think there's really gonna be much else to show. So uh, yeah, let's just get this final grind out of the way. 1.2 million XP. That should be like, uh, I don't know, two or three days of this probably. So I'm not stopping. Let's get back to work. This is it guys. This is the end of a very important game. After about three weeks of Temperos, I can finally say that this is the very last game of Temperos that we needed to do. Probably on the entire account, assuming we get what we want in the drops. But uh, 1628 Temperos kill count is where we're gonna finish. So we have 45,000 fishing XP until 99. And we have 48, or I guess 4,844 permits total and every single time you loot a permit it gives you 10 fishing xp so effectively we have 48,440 fishing xp stored in our permits so that'll be enough to get us to 99 so we're gonna be getting 99 through fishing for our rewards uh, i'm gonna talk about the grind real quick just give a quick little recap and then i'm gonna boot up stream and we're gonna loot all of these rewards it's gonna take so long to go through all of these so as you know this grind got us up from I think 86, 87, I'll put up the number if it's whatever it is because I don't remember, it was so long ago. Got us up to 99 fishing, obviously. We got up to about halfway through 91 cooking. We don't get a ton of cooking XP from Temperos. All the cooking XP comes from the rewards, which you're gonna see pretty soon. And it got us up to 68 construction. I think I the last construction level I recorded was like 66 or something, but I stopped recording construction levels after a certain point, but we're all the way up to 68, and I'm pretty sure that the planks and stuff we get from Temperos might get us up to 70. I think that would be a cool level to end up at. A 1707 total level, then we're ending off at rank 16 
for Ultimate Iron Man Temperos. I don't know if we're gonna stay here forever, probably not, but you know, at the time of this video, we got all the way up to rank 16 for Ultimate Iron Man in the world at Temperos. If that's impressive, I don't know, but pretty cool, I'm gonna say. Before we loot the rewards, we're in my house for two reasons. One, to say hello to James, cause you, you know, you just have to. It's one of the things you gotta do. And two, we're gonna put the Calphite Queen pet inside the house because I'm not expecting to get the Temporos pet, but it's a pretty good chance that we will because I have so many permits stacked up. And, uh, you know, I wanted to appear behind me, get the funny feeling you're being followed message. So, yeah, I'm going to be putting the pet in the house so that I can clear up the space behind my back, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So before I start looting the rewards, which I'm right about to do, I want to go over the collection log real quick. So far on the account, we have looted 2,906 reward permits and we have almost 5,000. So we're not quite at drop rate for the pet because the pet is one in 8,000 drop rate, but we're pretty close to the drop rate at this point. Not ho I'm not expecting to get the pet, but I'm kind of hoping we do. Um, but to complete the collection log, we need the pet, the big harpoon fish, and the dragon harpoon because we can't get the angler outfit. But what we really need, most importantly, is the Tome of Water back and as many pages as possible. But I would also like to get the collection log filled out and the pet would be cool too. So, but I, I don't know, we'll just loot it and then we'll kind of figure out like what we keep after we're done. I guess it's time to get started into the looting because it's probably gonna take like at least two hours to go through all this. Yeah, I think we're just gonna get started. I don't really know what else there is to milk, what other point there would be to milk. So let's get in there, I guess. And they're off. Tackle box. Oh, baby, we got the tackle box back. Yeah, I don't know what to say about the tackle box. I'm honestly only going to keep this if we get the dragon harpoon because there's no real other point to keep it, I think. I could be wrong, but with Tombs of the Masket coming, I need to really like pinch inventory spaces, and I'm not sure if the tackle box is going to be worth it. There's the first soaked pages, and it's a 25, which I think means it's a duplicate of like the tackle box or something like that. But yeah, we're hoping to stack as many soaked pages as possible and very hopefully get the Tomo water back. stop recording and if I get the tome of oh there it is I was just saying <laughs> I was literally just saying but there's the tome of water hell yeah dude nice the thing we did all that temper us for we have finally achieved hold up I'm actually just gonna take a breather right here I knew we'd get it back because like we have like three times as many permits as the drop rate for it so I think we're probably even gonna get a couple more but uh, there's the Tome of Water back. That is going to be incredibly helpful for Tombs of a Masket. I guess I'll just leave it in the inventory so I can look at it a little bit. But there it is. Tome of Water has been achieved. And let's get back to fishing. Oh, a fish barrel. We just got the fish barrel. That is um, not very good for us. That's gonna be a drop after this for sure, but that means that every single fish barrel we get from here on out is gonna be converted into 25 pages and added to our stack, but. Oh shit, a second tome of water. Look at that, we got a second one. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> we got a backup in case something goes horribly wrong. Oh my God, we just got a third tome of water <laughs> and uh, that, just totally filled up our inventory. We need to like make space or something now. My goodness, three tomes of water. I just took a little uh, break to drop two of those tomes of water off. I just dropped them over to my main account. Uh, I don't think I need to trade them in for pages. I think we'll have plenty of pages. So that's an extra two mil or something for my main account. So we're gonna get right back into the looting. Do we really already get a tome of water? Oh my God. I I literally just dropped the extra tome of water off to my main like one minute ago. Like I've only been here for like 10 rewards since I just came back and we already got another one. Okay, <laughs> so that's number four of the opening so far. Pet, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, bro. We know, we gotta believe, we gotta believe. I'm channeling the pet. I'm manifesting it into reality. I can visualize it appearing out from under me. You have a funny feeling you're being followed. 
tiny tempor at way too many KC. Oh my god! Yes! Let's go, dude! Let's fucking go! <laughs> I was just manifesting it. I was literally just doing it. Yes! Let's go, dude! I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Seven... Dude, look at the permit number! 7373. 73. Shout out to Bodhi for that one. Very much appreciate it, Bodhi, my man. Yes, we got it. Thank God. I was getting so nervous thinking that I wasn't going to get it because we're so close to the end. All you got to do is just manifest it into reality and the rest will come. Dude, that's awesome. Let's Look at this guy. Hell yeah. What's he got to say? Tell me something I don't know. He says, seasons come and go, but I will never change. Spirit of the sea, not a writer. Okay. Dude, hell yeah, we got it. <laughs> I'm so happy that wasn't the dragon harpoon. Man, dude, this, this day just got a lot better. Okay, we're officially done with Temporos. Forever. We're done with Temporos on this account forever. Um, We're like two minutes away from getting the 99, so let's get this real quick. All right, we are three pulls away from getting the 99, so let's get this level. We got the pet, we got the tomes back, we got everything we need. The only thing that we need left is, of course, this level right here, 99 fishing. Dude, what a day. This is awesome. This was definitely worth it. This was definitely worth it. 99 fishing on the Desert Locked Ultimate Iron Man. Can't get the cape, but I don't care. That is our one, two, three, fourth 99 on the account. And now we have, what is it? Like 300 more rewards to go and we will be done with this. Let's see if we can get a second pet. And after all of that excitement and I think like two hours, two and a half hours of looting, we're almost done. And uh, I think one more, there it is. That's everything. This is the loot from 99 fishing at Temporos right here, or like 86 to 99 or something like that. We got the tackle box, we got the fish barrel and plenty of duplicates, which gave us a lot of pages. We got a ton of fish, a ton of planks, a ton of seaweed, and a bond from Spacehawk, the absolute legend. Thank you very much, my dude, appreciate you. We got 276 caskets to open. These are gonna be opened up after we go through all the supplies, but we have a lot of supplies to go through. I don't know what we're gonna do in this video or what we're saved for the next, but you know, I'll gather my thoughts and we'll figure that out later, but we got the pet. I guess we can do a price check of all the supplies. I think that's about everything. About 20 mil worth of fish. Yeah, that's a lot of fish right there. But um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you to everyone for showing up for the 99 party and the looting. Thanks again to Space Lock for the bond. Thank you to everyone who's hanging out in stream. We streamed this whole thing. It was super fun. I guess we'll get into what's next now. And that was it. That was likely the last time this account will be doing Temporos, and I'm super happy with how it went. We got our Tome of Water back and completely filled it with Soak Pages. We got a ton of food to use for the Tombs of a Masket, hopefully enough crafting supplies to get us to level 82 for the Black Dragon Hide Chaps, and of course the Temporos pet, the newest addition to the family. I was originally going to cook through all the fish in this episode and maybe get to 99 cooking, but this video is long enough as it is, and something huge has come to the desert that will affect how I use all my Temporos rewards. So we're going to be taking care of all these Temporos supplies in the next video and achieving our last best in slot piece of gear before we get ready to take on the Tombs of a Masket. The end is almost here and I can't wait. Thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Once again, thank you to Hero Wars for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Bye.